breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Only six Nigerians signed the amalgamation document in 1914. Hebrews were not represented. Only six Nigerians signed the amalgamation document in 1914. Hebrews were not represented. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Only six Nigerians signed the amalgamation document. The location of the amalgamation was in Zungeru, Niger State, which was the capital of the British Protectorate of Northern Nigeria from 1902 to 1916. Many Nigerians have asked if there were parties from the Southern and Northern Protectorate that partook in the Declaration of Nigeria, or did the British on their own sign the document in the absence of the people of the people involved? Southern and Northern Protectorate were joined to form Nigeria in 1914. By then, the nationalists we know of now will still little to know what happened. Unamdi Azikwe was only 10 years old. Amadubelu was 4 years. Obafemi Awolowo was 5 years then. This forces concerned individuals to ask which Nigerian signed the amalgamation document. It has been revealed that there were only 28 individuals involved in the amalgamation of the South and the North Protectorate. Out of the 28, only 6 were Nigerians. The rest were all British citizens. Lord Lugard, the first Governor General, led the amalgamation. He was the one who proposed it first, and the final signature was his. The six Nigerians are 1. His Royal Highness Machure Sakin Musulumi and Sultan of Shokoto. 2. Usuman Danmaji, who later became Emir of Kano. 3. Sakitoi Ajasa, a lawyer. And four, His Royal Highness Oladubulu Alafi of Oyo. Five, His Royal Highness R. Ensho Obong of Kalaba. Six, Abubaka Shewu of Bonu. These were the Nigerians present at the Amaga mission. They were there ceremoniously. No Igbo man was present in the amalgamation of Nigeria, even though the Igbos had powerful kings like the Obi Okosi of Onisha, Eze Nri Obalike, among others. The reason is not far fetched. It is thought that the Igbos fought strongly against the British rule and they were never in support of their systems. Lagos Colony Wars, also against the amalgamation as at then. The British were more comfortable and had better relationship with Fulani Northerners. The British perhaps handed over leadership roles to the Northerners, so the saying that Northerners want to always rule Nigeria did not just start today. It was positioned so by the British. The location of the amalgamation was when in Zungeru, Niger State. That was the capital of the British Protectorate of Northern Nigeria from 1902 until 1916. 
Only six Nigerians signed the amalgamation document. The, the location of the amalgamation was in Zungeru, Niger State, which was the capital of the British Protectorate of Northern Nigeria from 1902 to 1916. Many Nigerians have asked if, if there were parties from the Southern and Northern Protectorate that partook in the Declaration of Nigeria. Or did the British, on their own sign, the document in the absence of the people involved? Southern and Northern Protectorate were joined to form Nigeria in 1914. By then, the nationalists we know of now were still little to know what happened. Unamdi Azikwe was only 10 years old. Amadu Bello was 4 years. Obafemi Awolowo was 5 years then. This forces concerned individuals to ask which Nigeria signed the amalgamation document. It has been revealed that there were only 28 individuals involved in the amalgamation of the South and the North Protectorate. Out of the 28, only six were Nigerians. The rest were all British citizens. Lord Lugard, the first Governor General, led the amalgamation. He was the one who proposed it first, and the final signature was his. The six Nigerians are one is Royal Highness, my, my two rare. Sakin Musulumi and Sultan of Shokoto. Two, Usuman Danmaji, who later became Emir of Kanu. Three, Sa Kitoi Ajasa, a lawyer. And four, His Royal Highness Oladubulu Alafi of Oyo. Five, His Royal Highness Arensho Hobong of Calabar. Six, Abubakar Shewu of Bono. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.